Hello, this is Eric Trant, and in this video, we'll be going over how to do some basic well planning for the targets we defined. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the TL Longbow menu, Well Plan and Survey Tool. I'm going to add a new curve. I'm going to call this S well, slant well. I'm going to kick off from the surface. In this case, I'm kicking off at the zero or tying in at the zero point for the, the job. I have here my basic calculations, my extended, which I'm not going to use right now, proximity and ellipsoid, which I'll go over later, and well planning. I'm going to make sure I'm on the correct target, update target. I'm going to hit number one. Recall number target number one is a 90 degree slant well target. I'm going to hit Use current target and then we'll draw in the numbers here. I can use these numbers in the yellow boxes. This is my planning target. This is the target I'm actually planning to. So if I want to overshoot or undershoot the target a little bit, I can adjust these numbers without affecting the job. In this case, I'm going to hit it directly. Down here I have slant S well tab. You can see I have several different tabs. I'm going to use the slant S well in this case to build the, the slant. You can select your unknowns. What do you want the software to calculate? In this case, I want it to calculate the first length. My first build is going to be at a 10 degree per 100 build rate to a 90 degree angle. Calculate builds. Now you see the table to the right, update. The top section of the table are your surveys. This is where you actually hit. You can see the TVD, the north offset and the east offset has hit the target 6500 3500 respectively you can see that i got there at the build rate as applied which was 10. the bottom table is a planning table if you do miss your target which happens you can make sure that you you can determine how far you missed it and what direction you needed to turn in order to hit the target this gives your inclination and azimuth to the target as well as the tvd north and east offset values away from the target, the tool phase, and then a total distance number. You can see here that the distance is zero. The north east offsets and the TVD are also zero. So I hit my target. I'm going to add this to the plan and go back to basic calculations. Now you can see this plan has been added into the job file. I'm going to add comments, double click, and add comments for each point. So now I've got comments in there. These are my section details. Make sure you add comments in there. This is how you determine section details with the software. The software will look for comments. If you do not put comments, it will not include it in the section details when you try and plot later. Interpolate next. Let's go ahead and smooth the curve. That will add points every 100 feet. Click done. And now you can see I've got a well plan fully generated. If I want to print it out, I can click PDF. Print in black and white? No. That'll print it in color. I do not want to see extended calculations. I do want to show comments. So now you can see that the well plan has been printed out to PDF. It's in a nice format that I can now mail to whoever is requesting the well plan from me. I'm going to close this out. Go back, add a new curve, and let's build an S well. Again, let's tie into the surface. You can tie in at any point, and I'll cover that in another video. Planning. Recall number two. Update target. Use current target. Now, instead of hitting a 3500 north offset and east offset, it's going to be 700. Let's use the S well option here. We're going to select one of our unknowns. Let's use the tangent length. Kick off and define these. So I'm going to kick off at 750 feet at a 10 degree build to an 18 degree sail angle. My tangent length is going to be an unknown. I'm going to drop at 10 degrees and I'm going to drop all the way to a 5 degree 
slant because recall that this one is defined as a five degree target. Let's click calculate builds. Check your planning numbers down here. You can see that I hit my target. These are all zeroed out successfully. Let's add section to plan. Now I have my S well plan completely generated. I'm going to update the comments now. So I have updated the comments now to demonstrate exactly what the plan is. I'm going to interpolate just like I did with the other one. So using the interpolation, I now have lengths of every 100 feet. This is how you define an S well as well as a slant well using the TL Longbow software using these unknowns. If you have any more questions about this, please call Eric Trant at 214-250-6854. Thank you.